Vida. Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life, and welcome to the very first segment of what I'm calling the Martial Arts Top 10. This segment will cover everything from the good, the bad, and the ugly in the martial arts industry. Today's Top 10 is going to be covering board breaking fails. Let's check them out. All right, let's analyze this thing. So this particular video seems to be starting off at some type of belt testing from what I'm gathering. And if I'm wrong, I don't care. Since I don't know this kid's real name, I'm gonna go ahead and call him Little Stevie. Now, Little Stevie seems to be doing fantastic for whatever it is that he's doing up to this point, because based off these broken boards that you can see right here, he's already a world Mortal Kombat board breaking champion. <laughs> but from this point forward, things go a little awry. Let's see that again in the replay. From here, it looks like his form's not doing too bad, but his aim could use a little work. Or conspiracy theory time. Perhaps he missed the board on purpose because he just doesn't like that instructor. <laughs> but when everything's said and done at the end of this video, it seems like no one got seriously hurt, which is a good thing, I guess, considering that he was supposed to be kicking hard enough to break the board, but didn't hurt the dude's face. But in any case, I'm glad no one got hurt. Well, nothing got hurt except for the kid's pride, but that'll be okay. You can definitely tell this one starts off at an actual martial arts tournament. You can spot the signs a mile away with the ring numbers on it here and here. At first, everything seems to be going cool. Her elbow slices through that board like a hot knife through butter. But then, things go south. Let's take a look at that again, but this time, let's pay special attention to his hands. It seems like the board slipped right out of his hand and then flew right into his eyeball. That had to suck. In the end, she clearly apologizes to him. It was an accident. It does suck getting hit in the eye, and I truly hope that he didn't have any permanent damage because of that. This video seems to start off at a wedding reception. You can see the wife eagerly awaiting the husband's martial arts demonstration that will clearly go perfectly right and won't make him end up on his face in any way, shape, or form. The kick lands, so I have to give him a 10 at least for the kick. Judges score for the landing? Gonna be a negative three for me on the landing. One thing that stood out to me about this video though is watch the wife's reaction as this dude lands. Now this just gives me the impression that maybe this is more of a marriage of convenience than love. But if you thought her reaction is bad, check out the reaction of the in-law in the back. They are literally clapping. Like they're not getting up to go help him. They're not checking to see if he's okay. And they didn't even start clapping until after he landed on his face. That's cold blooded. Family reunions are going to suck for that guy. This video is definitely starting off at some type of martial arts demonstration. And as you can see from the wall of plywood that all of the spectators are hiding behind, they have seen one or two martial arts breaking video fails on YouTube. The first kick seems to be okay, but if you go back and take a closer look, eh, not exactly the best. That's right, he nails that kid right in the face. But at least the first kick wasn't the hardest kick in the world. The second kid who throws his kick is throwing heat. 
I always try to look at little things in these videos to try to see what I can check out. And if you notice, as that second kid is getting kicked clean out of the ring, the first kid is still checking for blood. All in all, the kid who was holding the board, I really hope that he ends up okay. Hopefully nothing permanent happened to him because of that, which I'm sure he's fine. But the kid who threw the kick, that's a pretty solid kick. You gotta give him credit, it's effective. He starts off by thanking the judges for allowing him to begin, and at the end he bows to the judges again, so it's definitely a martial arts tournament division. Everything starts off pretty well for Castro. See, says his name right on the geek. He executes a pretty nice 540 there. But of course, in these particular fail videos, not everything can go right, and then this is where things go wrong. Oops. <laughs> Let's watch that again. As you can see, the kick hits the guy holding the board like right by the face. It's not like a solid hit, but it's definitely a good solid graze. Probably scared him at least. But maybe the second time's the charm. To be fair, if you watch, he does break the board, but he also kicks the dude in the jaw. The kid is super nice, he picks the guy up, but after that it seems like he had one too many Red Bulls that day and is assuming the judges are deaf and just kind of screams at the judges. Jenkins! Luckily the board holder took it like a champ and he had a really good sense of humor about it at the end, but it did seem to kind of affect him a little bit. Nothing brings a family together like Christmas time karate while gathered around the TV. Or in this case, maybe nothing brings a family closer to divorce. I mean, couldn't they have picked a better spot to practice karate, like in the garage? Do you want to go do karate in the garage? Yup! See? That's all you had to do. Just had to ask. This one definitely could have ended up bad. But luckily her face was there to protect the TV. I'm sure she ended up okay, but I'm sure that it was probably a terrifying experience with all that wood flying at her face. That's what she said. Luckily, because of her daring sacrifice to protect the television, no Christmas movies were missed that Christmas. Here we are again back at another board breaking competition. This time the issue seemed to have been slippery fingers and just bad timing. Let's zoom in a little bit and take a look at the way this kid grips the board. He's holding that board like he has an actual phobia, just. This chick's timing could have not been any worse or any more perfect depending on how you're looking at it because right as she's walking by, oblivious to what's going on, he throws that kick right at the second that he would have had to throw that kick in order to nail her right in the head. Her trophy must have been second place because first place would have either ducked or blocked. That's all I'm saying. But what really stood out to me about this video wasn't even the kick. It was the two different reactions. One from the guy who was holding the board and one from the guy who kicked the board. The reaction from the guy holding the board seems to be like shocked. Like he really has like a bodily reaction whenever the board flies off and hits that chick in the face. And then he goes over, he walks over to her to check to see if she's okay. But on the other hand, the dude who kicked the board, he needs to go make sure that the board is okay. <laughs> Hopefully her forehead and the board are both still okay. Much to say about this one i had to replace this particular section because the previous video that i had in this spot caused a copyright issue so i went ahead and replaced it with this one um so this is more of a filler to be honest i didn't really want this to be my number three but kind of had to be if you notice when she hits the board she actually hits the other chick in the hand uh, causing her to let go and the chick on the left just could not hold on to it so it winds up cramming her right in the snots but my favorite part of this video is when she looks at her hand at the end in complete shock, like she's discovered she has some type of a superpower, like He-Man or something.
just keep it right there, bro. Don't don't let it move. Just keep it right there. Pussa. 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 Go back there. You can't move at all. You can't see how you moved a little? You put one back a little? All right, Pussa. 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 You didn't move at all. This one just is a classic that makes me laugh every time I see it, but unfortunately I can only find the one with the laugh track on it, so sorry about that. This dude's super intense, but he cannot help himself but to blame the other guy the entire time. You're going back when I hit, man. And yes, it seemed like at first maybe the arms were moving a little bit as the guy was holding the board, which is kind of funny, but sucks for that guy's forehead. But after that, it seemed like the guy actually got it and was able to hold firm, and then the board still didn't break. So I wouldn't blame the holder on that one. I mean, come on, look. Even with cinder blocks holding the boards, he still couldn't do it. As you can clearly see, he nails the front edge of the boards, lifting up the back, so he wasn't hitting it right in the middle. Also, he's grabbing the cinder blocks and he pulls them together, making it even harder for him to be able to break it. So that is 100% on him. P.S. boys and girls, while you're out there ever trying to attempt actually breaking boards, most people don't slap them together. Most people put spacers, which is usually done with like a pencil, and you can put spacers in between so there's a little air gap between the boards, which makes it a little easier for you to be able to break them. Just a heads up. Remember what I said about the spacers? This guy clearly didn't get that message. This guy is getting pumped up. He's taking all the practice swings that he needs to take in order to get ready to nail these boards into the next world. And luckily, all the audience is getting prepared with their cameras because I think some of them might know what the result is about to be. If you take a closer look at this video though, it seems like only two people understood just how bad that was. The guy who hit the boards clearly, but also this guy in the back. I don't know, man. If I was this guy, I might call foul a little bit. I want those boards tested for steroids. I mean, look at the size of those things. And if you're wondering, yes, he absolutely did shatter his hand. Thank you all for checking out my martial arts top 10 board breaking fails. With that said, here comes the question of the day to find out if you watched the entire video. When you leave your comment below, be sure to answer the following question. Which one was your favorite board breaking fail that I showed today? Or which video do you think I didn't post that belonged there? Feel free to send the link as well. Now keep in mind, when you send that link, we were talking about board breaking fails, not brick breaking fails, which we will do another video on later down the road. As always, thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and all that other crap people online tell you to do. Keep the martial arts legit. Just haven't been the same living strange since my baby joined that dojo. Joined up McDojo. Now she tries to speak.